Hello, hello. My name is Kim Sohusuapia, and I believe in innovation and doing things differently. This video has been prepared for you to guide you through some well-known concepts that will aid your studies and preparations towards exam. Due to COVID, we cannot meet in person to discuss. So I hope this video finds you well and helps you achieve excellence. Thank you. So we would be talking about the we would be talking about the scanner function. Now here we look at the question and the question says you should write an appropriate scanner function to enter numerical values for i, j, and k, assuming the following that the values for i, j, and k will be decimal integers not exceeding nine characters each. Now what is a scanner function? A scanner function it's a function that is used to take input from a user. It is used to take data from the user. So this is the <coughs> this is the syntax for a scan f. See, these are all of syntaxes of a scan f. Now let us look at something. <coughs> this is the format specifier that we would use to specify the data we are taking from the user. So the question said we are looking for decimal integers. Take note, we are looking for integers to be specific. So this is the syntax we would use. And the question said that the integers that we want, they should not exceed nine characters each, which means we want to keep them in a minimum field width of nine. So if it is less than nine, which means that the spaces there, it would be, the remainder would be filled with spaces. And if it is more than nine, it is not supposed to be if you get what i'm saying it should be it it should have a minimum field width of nine not if it is small it will cut it off if it is less it will fill it with spaces okay so now since we have told the program what data we are expecting from the user it stands to reason that when we take the data from the user we have to put it somewhere now this is when this is where our receptor variables come inside. Now, we know that the ampersand included inside, say this ampersand, it is called the address of operator. It is called the address of operator. So, say I take the value for the first, the first integer and I want to put it. Where do I put it? Now, the reason why we are doing this is that... <coughs> When I take my character, I have to put it inside the variable. Obviously, it has to go somewhere. And when the program reads this, say a scan f. So let's take this syntax for example. When the program takes the first value for this for this input, it would bring it here. It will bring it to the i. Now when it gets to the i, it will say put this in the address of i. Put this in the address of i put the first input in the address of i you see the ampersand there don't forget that the ampersand there stands for the address of operator so when it takes the first input it would it's like saying that when i take the first input from here i should put it in the address of i so the correct answer is actually this now why is the other wrong? now this can f when this one for this one when it receives the input there is nothing that shows it to take it to an address of something so it would give us an error now this one too we realize that there is comma in the formatting string now this syntax is wrong so it would give us an error now let us look at the fourth one the fourth one now for this fourth one we said that we want characters not exceeding nine characters but this syntax gives us eight characters so this is definitely not what we asked for so this is wrong so this is our correct answer so let's move to our next question now the question reads the value for i says that the value for i will be a decimal integer j an octal integer and k an octal integer with each quantity not exceeding nine characters so we are supposed to run a scan f we are supposed to write a scan f function that would take a value for i which is a decimal integer 
a value for j which is an octal and k which is also an octal integer and the and the value should not exceed nine characters now from the previous syntax it's the same here the only thing that would change is the format specifiers so the format specifier for integers the format specifier for integers we know is percentage d for octal it is percentage o and since they want the quantity not exceeding nine characters we will just make sure that we set the minimum field width to nine so percentage nine g percentage nine o percentage nine o and that is it now this one says the values for i and j will be hexadecimal integers and k <coughs> and k will be a decimal integer now each integer or each quantity will be five or fewer characters so this is what you want to see similarly it's the same as the previous questions all that will change is the format specifiers now the format specifier for um, for a hexadecimal is percentage x and since this one says that we want each quantity to be five letters or fewer then we have to set our minimum field width to five because if it exceeds five it will cut and if it is less than five then it would actually fill the remaining ones with zeros or with spaces rather sorry it would fill the remaining ones with spaces so i and j would be percentage x i and j would be percentage x and then k would be a percentage d so k would be a percentage d and then since we are setting it to five this is our answer but since we are setting it to five um, uh, since we want the minimum field width to be five we would put it in front of the percent the percentage sign and then make sure they go to the they are assigned variables through the use of the address operators